Okay, so we, here we have a variety of ZVS drivers from eBay. Uh, this one here is rated 120 watts, 5 to 12 volts. This one here um, is rated at 200 watts at 24 volts and 10 amps. This one here is rated at 1000 watts at 30 volts and 33 amps. It goes from 12 to 30 volts. And this monster here is um, a two and a half thousand watt driver, um, which takes 50 amps at 48 volts maximum. Now these go on here to call the um, to call all the components. I've taken them off for now because you have to remove them into in order to be able to access these screws and um, attach cables um, or the coil that usually goes on here. Um, so yeah, not the best design there. But um, what you can see is um, that the main differences are, well, this one here um, has these tiny, tiny little um, transistors just under here. So they're all that's driving this one, and it's got two of those same capacitors underneath. Okay, moving on to the next one. We still have two capacitors, but we have the um, much more powerful uh, transistors. Um, these are IRFP 260N devices, and anybody playing with these things would do well to buy some spares of these because you can easily blow them, and um, you know, just replacing those fixes it 99% of the time. Okay, so moving on here, we still have the two same IFP 260Ns. Um, they're across the board, they're, they're also used in this. So they all use the same, what's actually known as a hex FET transistor. Now the obvious difference is um, the number of capacitors, 2, 6, 12 here. So, given the same voltage and the same frequency, um, doubling the capacitors doubles the current. So, that's basically how these um, get more power out of the same thing. So, yeah, that, that's a basic rundown of pre all but one of the um, ZVS drivers that are available on eBay.